Well, hello, First Conyers. I'm glad to be with you today, and I repeat what the psalmist said in Psalm 122, verse 1, where he said, I rejoice with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I have some important information for you today regarding our very slow process of re reopening corporate service times here at First Conyers. After great consultation and much prayer between the staff, church leadership, church council, Georgia Baptist, uh, Tom Rayner, uh, other sources of information, we have made a decision that uh, after the June 12th deadline here in Georgia of the sheltering in place, that we are going to reopen again our corporate worship time on Sunday morning. This will begin Sunday, June the 14th, and the new time will be 10 a.m. We'll only have one service that day, and we are taking extreme precautions to make sure that we've done everything possible to make it safe uh, for those to return who do not have underlying conditions. At this time, we've decided to only open our corporate worship time. That means that there will be no Sunday school taking place, no small groups that take place on campus on Sunday mornings. Uh, there'll be no preschool ministry that takes place or children's ministry, only our corporate worship time. Uh, children will, will be able to worship with their parents in the sanctuary uh, during that time using the current family guide as we've been placing every week to make that interactive for your kids as they're in that worship service. But again, the only thing that we're opening at this time is that 10 o'clock worship service. Now, we're taking this very seriously and very cautiously, and we are making every effort possible to make it as safe for those to return to corporate worship that feel comfortable returning at this time. Uh, there are several things that we are going through great pains to make it as safe as possible for you as you return. Uh, the first of, first thing that we're going to be doing is strongly encouraging and, and, and reminding us of the social distancing measures that we have all become accustomed to at this time. We will have uh, in the lobby areas and around the hallways hand sanitizing stations, and we encourage you to use hand sanitizer. Uh, uh, resources are limited right now as far as supply for hand sanitizer. So if you have a pocket hand sanitizer, it would help us out if you would bring that with you and use that rather than using the hand sanitizers that we will have around the facilities. We are requiring everyone who attends our corporate worship service uh, just as you should be doing when you go to the grocery store or anywhere else, to wear a mask. Again, if supplies are available, we will be providing those for you. However, supplies are very limited and very difficult to obtain. So if you have one of those masks that's your own that you've been using, we encourage you to bring that uh, to corporate worship with you. Our restroom facilities, we understand from CDC, is that's one of the uh, the, the most obvious places that COVID-19 can be transferred from one person to the other. Therefore, we're going to limit our restroom facilities where we have one men's and one women's restroom open. And we're asking that you only use that if there's an urgent need. And so our services will be limited to a one-hour time frame. Uh, so for many of us, that should be fine with that. We also are going through and marking the sanctuary very clearly so that you know where you can sit and where you can't seat, sit in order to maintain the social distancing. Families will be allowed to worship together and do not have to social, uh, social distance at six feet apart. Couples, uh, married couples, or those living in the same dwelling will be allowed to sit next to one another but we'll distance those family units from each other and the seating will be clearly marked. Uh, moms and dads, we encourage you to bring your kids and your families. We'll continue with the family worship guide that you'll be able to download in your device so that your kids can look at that uh, during the worship service. But moms, if you're nursing or you have a preschooler that is just not able to sit there 
uh, during, during that time, we will be opening the library so that you can retreat into there, uh, keeping social distancing requirements, and we'll have a remote television in there so you can continue to watch the service as you're in there. When you enter into the building, the doors will be propped open from the outside. The doors will be propped open into the sanctuary. We stress that you please come on time uh, so that we can close those doors after we have begun. And so that way you won't be touching any handles or anything like that. Uh, we'll have placed around the building areas that you can deposit your tithes and offerings if, if you so choose to do that. Um, at the end of the services, we will be having uh, a different setting than what we normally do. We'll open all of the side doors and lobby doors so that we can exit in an orderly fashion and to avoid any places that we might congregate together in close locations. If you're like me, that's going to be very difficult. I love to shake hands and I love to hug people. And, but we're going to ask you, please do not do that. Um, also, in, in this fashion, as we exit in an orderly manner, that when you leave the sanctuary, we ask you please not to congregate in the lobby or in the vestibule areas, uh, but just please exit and go to your automobile and reflect on what had taken place that morning in our corporate worship service. We are strictly going by the requirements or recommendations that the Center for Disease Control has issued uh, to, to those who need to continue to shelter in place. And while we would love to see everyone here, we know that there are many in our congregation who would be classified in these high-risk areas, and we encourage you not to feel compelled to come out of any kind of guilt or anything like that, we'll continue the worship service online and you can view it every week that way. Um, so if you have any of these underlying conditions that the Center for Disease Control recommends that you continue to shelter in place, we want to encourage you to stay at home and join us live. I'm going to briefly go through these conditions just so that you hear them again, and then we'll give the website that you can look at after this video is over so that you'll be more familiar with the guidelines. These are particular conditions that are that are given to uh, faith communities as they gather to congregate. And so they are safe, safe um, restrictions and we're encouraging you to participate in those. High risk individuals are those who are 65 or older. Uh, high risk individual are those who might live in an assisted living, a nursing home, a retirement center location, you are still at high risk. People of all ages, young and old, that have any underlying medical conditions, you are encouraged to continue to shelter in place. People with chronic lung disease or moderate to severe asthma, you're at high risk with COVID-19. People who have serious heart conditions, um, you know whether or not you've had a serious heart condition and you are at high risk if you choose to, to come out and not continue to uh, shelter in place. People who, are, uh, who have immune compromised systems, those who have underlying conditions, lupus, uh, Hajimoto, Sjogren syndrome, etc. If you have uh, an at-risk immune system, you are encouraged uh, to stay at home as well. People with severe obesity are encouraged to continue to shelter in place. People with diabetes, people with chronic kidney disease undergoing dialysis, or people with liver disease. We encourage you again, while we so love to see you, that if you have any of these high-risk conditions, continue to shelter in place and join us online for the coming weeks and months until we are confident that things have turned in this virus. Lastly, the website that you can get this information and more is located on the screen behind me, the CDC website. Again, our services will resume uh, in, in a limited basis, one service only beginning June, June 14th at 10 a.m. I love you. God bless you. May God's grace be upon you. May his face shine on you. I look forward to seeing you.